Hi there, I'm John, Rebalance MD Physiotherapist. Regarding your hip precautions, these are limitations in your bending or twisting in order to prevent your hip from dislocating while it is healing. These precautions could be in place up to three months unless otherwise stated by your surgeon. After surgery, you will not be able to do the following. No bending past 90 degrees, no twisting, and no crossing the midline. The rule of no bending past 90 degrees is the most difficult one to follow as many of your daily activities, such as dressing and sitting, require you to bend at the waist past 90 degrees. 90 degrees refers to the angle of your body from your trunk to your thigh. A quick way to measure is that your shoulders and knees should never come closer than the locked elbow distance apart. Right now, you are at 90 degrees. If your arms are bent in any way, you're less than 90 degrees, which is breaking your hip precaution. If your hands can't fully grab your knees, you are farther away than 90 degrees, and this is okay. Due to this precaution, you will need to elevate the height of any surfaces you sit on, including your bed, toilet, a table chair, a TV watching chair, etc. To check which surfaces are too low, stand next to the item and make sure the height of that item comes two inches above the bend in your knee. That way, you will always be sure that your hips are higher than your knees. It is also recommended that you use a chair with arms. When most people sit down or stand from sitting, they often bend forward. Using armrests will help you gently sit down or push straight up out of the chair. If you don't have a chair with arms, check your patio furniture if you have any, as they commonly have arms. You can put a raised cushion on it, cover it with a sheet, and voila, you have a chair with arms. Recliners can be more comfortable to sit or sleep in and are okay to use. Just make sure that you're able to sit in the chair, raise the footrest, get out of the chair without bending past 90 degrees or twisting. Practice before surgery to make sure it is doable. If you're in a pinch and need to sit in a seat that is too low, you can slouch or lean back to open up the angle. Use the locked elbow method to make sure you don't bend past 90 degrees. Because putting on shoes, socks, and underwear or pants usually involves bending over 90 degrees, you will not be able to safely do these activities without the help of some aids. Remember to put your clothes on while sitting. A long-handled shoehorn allows you to slide your foot into a shoe without using your finger to aid it. A long-handled reacher allows you to put your underwear and pants on without bending over. It is also helpful for picking up items that fall onto the floor or are too low to reach. A sock aid allows you to get your socks on without bending over. A quick cheat about picking up items off the floor is to do the golfer's reach. Hold on to something supportive, extend your surgical leg back and bend down to pick it up. Make sure that you're confident in your non-surgical leg's strength. To reduce the need to bend down often, prepare your home by moving commonly used items to counter height. Check cupboards and drawers in your kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, etc. On our website where you found this video, please review our video, Activities After Total Hip or Knee Replacement. These videos will show you how to use the dressing aids mentioned. The no twisting rule refers to twisting at the waist, such as reaching over to grab an item or twisting to close the door or cupboard. Therefore, we suggest following the rule Nose follows the toes whenever you need to turn your body. You do not want to turn your surgical foot inward, also described as pigeon toes. You do not want to twist your shoulders or twist at the waist while keeping your foot still. When you need to turn, take small steps in the direction that you want to turn, making sure that you lift your foot to take a step and turn your whole body. Prepare your home by moving items that may cause you to twist such as bedside tables, lamps, remote controls, books, and toilet paper by moving them further ahead of you so you don't need to twist to reach them. Remember not to twist when getting in and out of the vehicle or when shoulder checking. No crossing means that we do not want you to cross your legs at the knees or ankles. This can pull your hip toward the middle of your body, therefore pulling your hip in a way that is not advisable. When you're lying down, you can lie on your non-surgical side. However, you will need pillows between the legs for comfort 
and to make sure the surgical leg does not fall toward the middle of your body.